Gentlemen, welcome back to Banjo Tooie. My name is Brian, your host and commentator, and here we are in the Wooded Hollow. We're gonna go ahead and make our way to the plateau, because that is where Glitter Gulch Mine is, and Glitter Gulch Mine awaits us. Don't forget to zoom out and peck those guys and just mosey on along this ledge. So, we'll hop on up here. Let's see what this uh, sign's all about. Hey, sign, what's up? Magic Globo creatures are usually found near Mumbo Jumbo and Humble Wumba. Alright! Yeah, they usually are, so that's made really easy. But here we go, Isla Hags, the plateau. Oh god, they're a plateau. Usually I pronounce it plateau, I'm just feeling like the same plateau. Because I feel like that's more correct than plateau. I feel like I give just a Midwestern accent to it. But here we go, we're going to collect our first musical notes in the hub world. Don't worry, we'll go back and get that treble cleft later. Uh, let's take care of him. And here's uh, here are those split up pads. Once again, we'll be using those to access this area right here and get past uh, whatever. You know what I mean. Or make our way into Pine Grove, which is going to be the next area that we're going to enter. There's a honeycomb. Alright, we'll grab this, and you know what, while we're here, we're going to head up here immediately and check out this new feature of the game. You may have noticed that we have not gotten a extra honeycomb so far as we've co collected extra honeycombs. Hi there, Big Bear. I'm Honey Bee... I, I lost it. Oh, why couldn't you be mistress of the Jiggies instead? Because that would have made your quest too easy. However, I can grant you extra energy units in return for extra honeycombs. I suppose it's better than nothing. Don't be so rude, Kazooie. Oh, sorry, wasp lady. I'm honeybee, a bee, not a wasp. Right you are, hornet girl. You have enough honeycombs for two more ener units of energy. Do you want to trade? No. <laughs> yeah, of course I do. Give me those extra hits. Sure, honey. Toss your honeycombs over here, then, Big Bear. Ooh, call me Big Bear. Here's your extra energy. One, two. Lovely. So, yeah, in here there's, you know, a bunch of ways to, to heal yourself. And then she holds extra honeycombs behind her, so you, you notice that two of them disappeared. This game, I feel, looks a lot like Conker's Bad Fur Day, like in the art direction. I don't know if you guys agree with me on that, but they came out roughly around the same time. Conquer was maybe a year after Banjo-Tooie, so I see a lot of similarities in the designs. Uh, here's our next move. Let's see what Jam Jars has for us. I've only met this guy a couple times so far. Fire eggs! Now it's the time for you to learn shooting eggs that crackle and burn. Yeah! That's gonna be our second egg type. That's right, there's different egg types. A brand new egg you have acquired. Now I'll tell you how they're fired. Tap, right, tap the bumpers to get your eggs on view. Tap it again until it's right for you. All right, that one had a good rhyme. Good ending rhyme. Ah, oh, still waiting for it. Those of you who've played this game know what I mean. All right, so fire eggs. This is our second type, and now you'll notice the egg nests switch. They switch. You'll probably hear Jinjo whistling. He's in this little boulder right here. I'm gonna fuck this dude up really quick. Alright, well, let's go ahead and activate the silo while we're over here. While we're at it. So we can warp here in case we die. Ugh, eat it. And then, uh, you'll notice if you can shoot the door here for. Well, it'll. <laughs> the door. You shoot the switch and it'll open that door right there. And in there is a, I think a Jinjo, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, nothing special up here. We're not even going to need red feathers for this level. Shit. It's like you not zoom in when you're standing there. Oh. Dumbass. Alright, so yeah, shoot it with a fire egg, and we can now access this cave. Oh, 
Which I'm not actually sure where it leads. Where does this lead to? Let's find out. Oh, this leads to Pine Grove. Okay, well, we'll come back there uh, a couple episodes from now. I thought that other cave led to Pine Grove. The one over here on this side. Oh, no, it's not, because it has the split-up pads. I'm an idiot. That's what leads to uh, the next area. So, yeah, we'll be able to get that Jinjo eventually. But for now, let's go ahead and head on into Glitter Gulch Mine. Um, I will say, I do like this level. Because I like mine cave slash, like, western levels, which is kind of what this is. Five pages at last. Come and see me. Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain, blah, blah, blah. And I'll tell you your first secret cheats. These are the springy step shoes, but you'll have to come and find me before you can use them. Sounds good. So yeah, we're not going to get those for quite a while. I want to say about three worlds. <sighs> world 5. This is World 2 that we're at right now, so World 5. Um, Alright. I'm gonna go. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna get that right now. I'm gonna get, snag this globo. You can see Wumba's wigwam. I think is right here. Yeah, right at the start. So you can kind of go into the transformation, which I'm thinking about doing. But what I usually like to do is get the moves first, acquire the moves of the world. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where all the moves are though. Or how many? Well, I know where one is. One is in a specific area. It's we get we have another first-person shooter segment that we're gonna have in this level, in this stage. So it's gonna be located in there, I believe. And then there's one that should be somewhere. Let me grab some of these. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, so I'll get this. Warp pad. Kind of just activating everything. Where does this lead? I don't want it to go into like a new area. Oh, okay. So I have to remember that. Yeah, this place can get kind of windy. Uh, this level was actually supposed to be in the original game in Banjo Kazooie. Along with My Hem Temple, actually. Both of them were. But I guess time constraint or something. I don't know. Something stopped it from happening. It sucks. But at least we got to still play them, you know? It's cool. Obviously, they're probably a bit altered. I can imagine why these, like, are so big, though, because they were preparing for so many more notes, you know, to be strewn about and stuff. I don't know. I wonder how much they altered it afterwards. Grip grab. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and snag this note. And we need to find the move. Where's the move at? Oh, it's a long <laughs> it's across the other side. Alright. Come on. Get your shit together, Brian. <sighs> okay. So basically, in the first game, I don't know how how many instances there were. Or no, you know what? I'll I'll explain it after this. Let's watch this. This makes breaking so much fun. Now listen up to how it's done. Leap high in the air and then hold the left trigger. Blah, blah. Watch Kazooie spin and drill with her head. Uh, I think it's supposed to be uh, Z. Like it's supposed to be Z instead of the left or the right triggers. And I guess British people say Z. So it rhymes with head. That's just something I've heard of before but I'm not entirely sure so that's that's the origin of that but yeah basically now if you're over something and you hold the left trigger you can drill it and that one had a extra honeycomb piece so hooray uh, this move wasn't really needed back in Banjo Kazooie because I mean you kinda just broke boulders and shit with just a regular pound you know I don't know but uh, prospector's hut who might you be I'm Bill. I'll bet your other name is gold-related. What is it? Gold bar Bill, Klondike Bill? Nope, Bullion Bill. 
Bullion Bill's my name. <laughs> thought so. What's up, Bill? My rodent partner, Delirta, went looking for gold, but she's been gone for too long. We'll keep a lookout for her. Not so fast, Banjo. Make sure he makes it worth our while. Oh, okay. Can we have a prize if we find her? You city folk are all alike. I wonder where she could be. Yep, she's in the prison compound. Eek! I'm sure I came in through a tunnel. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, in there. Uh, the boulder's blocking our path, though. But now we do have the move that'll let us access it. There's a picture of them. <laughs> this is the only time we're gonna utilize these two characters as well in the game, so, I mean, stupid. I wish these characters would have played a more major role. Wait a minute. Is there a ginger whistling in here? Or was that just when I exited? Yeah, it's when I exited. My bad. Where could he be? Let's get a good uh, idea of the area. Alright, well, you know... Ow! Shit. Alright. Well, let's go... Let's continue up this. I think he's on the tracks. I believe that's where the Jinjo is. He's gotta be nearby. Alright, here's Mumbo's hut. We'll activate this as well. I wonder if... Are those the only two moves? Those are the only two moves that I can think of at the moment. The uh, beak bar, or not the beak barge, but the the beak bayonet, I think it's called, and then the the drill. Hmm, I don't know. There's Mumbo though. I'll figure him out later. There's a Globo. All right, that opens another area. Snag this bad boy. We'll head up here. Fuck that thing. That box. Yeehaw! Let's see what's all the way down here. Just an entrance. Doesn't need the... Nope, you can just go in there. So there's another mine entrance. And... Is this the train station? Yeah, the train station. Alright, you know what? While we're here, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Or wait, yeah, okay, we need to be Mumbo to, to uh, do this. Never mind, <laughs> I totally forgot, I'm getting ahead of myself. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll take care of that once we're Mumbo. Mumbo has a couple of uses in this level, more than the uh, first level, that's for sure. A lot more. Woo! Ooh, one of two of the orange, I guess? I thought orange were in the first game, I don't know. Oh yeah, actually the... The five colors are the five smallest. Like green has five, I think red has th four, and blue has three. Or something like that. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a Jinjo on the tracks. Somewhere around here. Yeah, there he is. You. Oh, you're. I don't know what you are. Brown? Red, brown? I don't know. Alright. Let's uh, let's get on this warp pad, because all the warp pads kind of just take you to the different areas around this like main hub area. I don't think any of the warp pads take you into the mines and stuff. Outside crushing shed, near train station. Actually, those are both... You know what, let's go ahead and do... Uh, we'll use Mumbo right now. We'll go ahead and use him for his two... He has two uses in this stage. He's, they aren't as involved, though. Like, you just go over there, use both his pads once, and then you're kind of done. We are stocked on Globos right now. We got two of them. Hey, Mumbo, what's up? Welcome again, Baron Bird. We've got a Globo. Must give magic creature to Mumbo if you want help. Want Mumbo's help? Yes. Yes, I do. Sure, we need all help we can get. Throw to Mumbo's back. That's that's the same thing you're gonna hear every single time you uh, switch over to Mumbo. Well, for the first time, you switch over to Mumbo. Every single time you meet him. 
All right, so now we're Mumbo. Woo! And then we got this warp pad, and we've already gone around and opened up the areas. Let's go outside the crushing shed. And you got this big old rock here that we need to levitate with Mumbo. Put it into the shed. It looks like it has a jigsaw piece in it. Levitate, Jiggy Boulder. Ecomboco, me comboco, me comba. I love this game. I'm so excited to be doing this because this opens up a whole new like set of sequels I can do. I turned down to 20. Sounded a little loud. I wasn't sure if the mic's gonna pick it up. Just gonna slowly put it into the crushing shed. Ubaraka. All right, and we're not gonna do anything else here as Mumbo. Now we're gonna go to near the train station. Bitch. Uh. Get out of here. You too. Ow. Fuck. All right, train station. This is going to be the second instance where we use Mumbo in this level. Well, let me get this. Troublemaking shovel. Troublemaking shovel? That's what you are, just a troublemaking shovel. Hope this works. Levitate. Chuffy the train. That's right, there's a train in this game. Actually, use it. Use it a few times. Yeah, use it generally a few times. I want to say like three or four. That's not going to come till later on in the game, like way later. We're talking like fifth world later, fifth world and beyond. There's only eight worlds in this game. Bitch. <laughs> uh, I think you can break some of these and there's, yeah, there's an extra honeycomb piece in this one. All beaten up. I don't know what that means. wonder what that was for. Is that for his zap stick? Uh, is that all you can break in here? Yeah, it looks like it. I don't think there's going to be anything on this side. Nope. God, this game was so expansive when it came out. Like, just all the world jumping that you could do. It was insane. Yeehaw! Alright, well that's going to end our tour with Mumbo. No longer need him. We'll go ahead and see him uh, next next world. Well, he actually, yeah, he gets used a lot more next world. He kind of progressively gets used a bit more world power world, and then you get to the fourth world and you use him one one time again. Like <laughs> he just shoots back down. <coughs> I'd say which world might be his peak. Which world or uh, I don't know. I wonder how many times you use him in. Cloud Cuckoo Land. Uh, well, anyway, while we're over here, let's see where this mine entry to. Let's see what's going on in mine entry to. Okay, so we got a dynamite thing that we're gonna need. Yeah, so we're gonna need to use the the detonator. I can destroy this. Let's see where this takes us. Oh. Um. Okay, I remember this area. Oh, jeez. Nothing up here. Just go in there. Is that all you're doing here? Split up pads. Oh. Let's read this. The generators need to be lit, but to switch on lights requires a split. Yeah, okay. I know what that is. We'll probably do that right now, actually. And that just leads to a whole other area. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and get this jiggy while we're here, because it says that we need a move. But we really don't. We really don't need a move for it. We're going to kind of cheat. It's not like cheating, but we, I mean, I don't know. It's just another way of getting it, you know? So, if you go up here... I don't know why I pounded that. I thought that would do something. But, uh... If you go to the switch, it turns on the Power Hub basement lights. But the lights only stay on if you are standing on the switch. See? So when you... Yeah. But what we're going to do is just go ahead and get that jigsaw piece, because we can. You're supposed to stand on it as Banjo and then get the, sw or get the jiggy as Kazooie. Alright, 
And the way we're going to do this, you're like, Brian, what the fuck? How are we going to see where we're going? Fire eggs. Oh, yeah. See? You can just show yourself the way. I can't see for shit on my screen, too. I'm so, I'm like kind of far away from the uh, TV, and I don't know. It's really dark on my screen. It's really hard to see. Really hard to see the, uh, the pathway. I think uh, I used to be able to see it. I don't know if they made it more challenging or what. Trying to be very careful not to fall off. <laughs> trying a new tactic because it's quicker. Alright, we're using an insane amount of fire eggs doing it the, the backwards way. Ah. 26 left. I mean, it's more than enough, but... Whew. Almost there. Taking no chances. Oh yeah! Give me that jiggy. Uh. Alright, fuck this. There's no penalty yet. Like, absolutely no penalty for dying. And it takes you back here to the entrance. So that's good. That is good. Cause I don't know. <laughs> It's good because I don't know. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just explore for now. Let's do a little bit of exploring. Let's go over here to the left. We haven't really been over here. Fuel storage. Let's see what's in here. Let's check out the fuel storage. The TNT enemy. Um, apparently a body of water for no reason, but okay. Just a lake. I like it. Gives adds character to the uh, area. Oh, this is where. Yeah. Bleep! I'm trapped in this mine by that black tunnel. Bleep. So yeah, this is a character from the next world, and we need to be the dynamite uh, transformation in order to let him enter, help him enter world three, so we can go ahead and snag the jiggy from him. We only have ten more musical notes to get. Alright. Oh, this is where the, uh, yeah, the ordnance storage. Is this where we get the move? Yes, it is! You know what? Let's do this while we're here. Beak bayonet. Another use for the feather freak. Makes good use of her pointy beak. The bad guys know that it's no joke. Press X to give them a poke. <laughs> That'll be all. Woo! Oh, there it is. Yeah, that happens every once in a while. I don't know if that happened yet already, but uh, I don't think it did. So, we can't use eggs at all. Well, we can. Just not on... Alright, I'll, I'll explain it. Let's go ahead and just enter. You've learned a beak attack, huh? Sure have, partner. Well, maybe you can help me out here. A real nasty bunch of TNT sticks have escaped from their box and are threatening to blow up my mind. Oh, no. Don't worry. We'll go in there and blast them. No. Shoot one and the whole mine will explode. You'll have to try and defuse them somehow. Anything else? Yep. You'll have to be quick because when you defuse the first one, the others will probably start their detonation timers. Oh, God. Crossing my heart on this one. So X is to do the beak attack. We have 15 of them. Uh, the problem is you can get kind of like, I don't know, lost in the mine and forget where where you've been and stuff. And I don't know. Hopefully I won't have that problem. You can shoot those guys, but you have to beak attack these clowns. I don't know. Alright, we'll get that. We're doing alright. 
It's not too hard. I mean, the mine isn't extremely, like, you know, difficult to maneuver. Hmm. And that leads to the middle. So I'm going to keep that one going in the middle. And get him. And get him. So I think at this point we're essentially just circling around right now. I have not been up top. I'm not going to go up top yet. Don't need that energy unit. What the fuck? There we go. Alright. Just one up here. Dead end. Yep, dead end. Alright, so did I... Where did I come from over here? I think I came from there. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna hit up this one, because that one just leads to the middle. I think we're just basically going around the whole outer side right now. That leads to the middle. So we'll head back down here. Not back down here, but over here. There we go. And this. I think this. Let's see where this goes. We have three left, and they're probably all up top. Yes, yeah, so that's back to the beginning. Okay. So let's go ahead and take care of all the guys up top, and then there's one in the middle. Take care of this clown. <coughs> There's going to be another one up top. Then there'll just be one jumping around on the ground in the middle. Oh, fuck. I need to get to this top ring over here. Ooh. There he is. There's our last two. I don't know how that... Did I just... No, I didn't skip you. How is there a... I don't know. I don't know how there's a health unit there, but... Take care of that guy, and we'll take care of this fucker right here. Woo! Heal up, and poke him for the win. Once I get you. Yes! Did it on my first try. I played this in a while, too. That's good. How obliged? Are we talking a reward here? Well, all I got is this funny-shaped nugget. I reckon you just can have it. Damn right, dude. We just cleared your, your stupid mine of TNTs. We just helped you out. We're making sure you don't go under. Alright, now we just gotta figure out how to get home. Not how to get home, but how to get the fuck out of here. There, oh, no, this is, that's not it. I wish that an arrow would appear and direct to you. <sighs> so there's four entrances here. So it's gotta be one of these. Yeah, here we go. I think this is, I believe this is the start. We weren't, we didn't, or was this the start? No, it wasn't. This had to be the start. Right here? That's, that's where I just was. Dude, I don't know how to get out of here. Give me a challenge. Unless it's a top floor thing. Is it? Where does this lead? I have no idea where the exit is to this level. This sucks. Oh, this has got to be it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. God. It's confusing. I don't know why, but I just didn't think it was on the top floor. Ordnance storage entrance. And there's a jigsaw piece. Woo! Alright. So yeah, if you accidentally uh, end up shooting one of the dynamites, or if your timer runs out, then you just have to redo it. It just counts down, and then, or no, it doesn't count down, but the mine just explodes. You'll have to go back in there and do it later. Um, Alright, so we did that. I think we've explored a lot of the right. Let's explore some of the left. Actually, while we're here, let's go ahead and get this jiggy. We'll, we'll, we'll go back over to the right and finish up stuff over there. And then we'll take it left, and then we'll probably be the, uh, what am I doing? Then we'll probably be the, oh wait, we don't, yeah, you gotta get these first. 
But uh, we'll have to be the transformation. That's the word I'm looking for. We'll end up being. We'll end up switching over to the transformation. Hit that button. It's gonna show us where our jigsaw piece is, all the way to the right. Or not a jigsaw piece. Or maybe it is a jigsaw piece. I don't know. No, it's not. It just <laughs> opens up that or a jigsaw piece. All right, you have about 30 seconds to get there. It's pretty, uh, I don't know, I'd say it's pretty generous. You're not going to need 30 seconds. You just follow along the water. You'll be good. Especially if you take the shortcut and make sure you avoid that clown. And you're in. And I think that'll be open from now on. You no longer have to hit that button. But, uh, let's go ahead and drop on down here. Make sure you don't miss it because you want to get that jigsaw piece. It's up here. I need to make sure I don't fall off. Fuck it up. There's a Kazooie torpedo rock down there. We won't be getting that till the fourth level. So don't worry about that. It really sucks. Uh, let's try and make our way over to this platform. Yes! 